All right, what's going on guys? So here we got my 2017 WXSTI. Bro, look at this my dude. Dog, dog <laughs> Wait till you see the, the bugs out the front. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so today we're going to be um, changing out the spark plugs. So I'll show you guys the little setup I'm going to get going and what we need and see how it goes. All right, guys. So got the little setup going here. Okay guys, got the setup here. Of course, we got some media going on the laptop. Got the spark plugs, NECs, spark plug uh, socket, wrench, sockets, flathead. See how it goes. Um, gonna start taking apart the parts that I need to get rid of and um, I'll show you right now. Whew. All right guys, that was, I just had negative fun. But as you can see, I pulled out the um, the front mount and the cooler piping, the air pump, uh, the battery, and the intake. So this is how the engine bay looks like right now. You got the space for that right there. I don't know if I have to take that out. I really hope I don't have to. Oh, shit, you can't see. I hope I don't have to take that piping out because that's going to be a pain in the ass. Honestly, putting that piping on kind of sucks, but we'll find out right now. Um, this, got all this out. I want to see that pump. Pain in the ass to take out. I don't know why. I think I was doing it wrong the first time, so I had to look up a video because it was pissing me off. But yeah, besides that, the coil packs are down there and on that side. So we'll see how this goes right now. Oh my god, guys. That shit was crazy. First of all, I got the wrong spark plug socket, so I had to run AutoZone, got the right one. So I finally got this one out. I think this is cylinder four or two. I don't know, but geez, that, that's that's pretty cooked, guys. Not gonna lie. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There you go. Look at that. That's, that's bad. Shush. Glad I'm doing this, getting this done. So I'll show you guys which one I took out, which was probably the worst thing. I don't know. Subaru was smoking crack when they made this boxer engine. Should get a fuck. something else. What do you mean by that? Sorry, it's got. I don't think you guys can see it, but it's back there. Yeah, now I still got three more left to go, so. Woo! Still got three more. Let's get to it. All right. After two hours, got the spark plugs out on the right side. I'll show you how it's going. So I finished taking those out. I put everything back on the right side, put the air pump. Uh, battery, the front mount piping, and uh, the air pump, yeah. So now we're gonna move on to this side and after watching YouTube videos, this side looks a lot easier. So we'll see how it goes. But yeah, kinda got a mess going on here, but whatever it takes. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> Finally got the third boot out. Let me show you guys something. Cause Jesus Christ, that was harder than it should be. But, so down here, down there, let me see if I can see it real quick. Okay, so, that's where the spark plug is, right? But there's a connector, this thing, that connects to the boot, that's like attached to somewhere right there, and I had to cut it off because, not the connector, but the little clip that was holding it on, I had to cut it off because it wasn't letting me rotate it. I was losing my mind. It easily took me probably about 45 minutes just to get that boot out. Now I gotta get the spark plug. God damn, but thankfully that was the last hard one. The next one in front of it's pretty easy. It's a lot more room. Should be should be easier. Don't wanna jinx it, but I wanna say that one was honestly harder than the one over there in the driver's side the driver side back. Cause Jesus Christ, that shit was crazy, but on to remove the spark plug. <laughs> Finally got it out. It took me like 15 minutes. Let me see the new spark plug that's gonna go in. There's a new one that's going in. Bruh. So the car should run better. So, see how it goes. All right, guys, you're not gonna believe this. It is the next day, <laughs> and I have one spark plug left. But let me explain to you what happened. I had the box of spark plugs in my car for about two weeks, just because I've been so busy with not being able to get to this. And I go to the last spark plug and I'm putting it in, but I noticed I was like, oh, there's a hair on it, hold up. So I like pull it out and like 
Wait, that's not a hair. And the spark plug is actually. See, the camera zooms in. I can focus on this. Spark plug is actually cracked. Yeah. So the insulator thing is called. This is cracked, so I'm not gonna use that. So I went to AutoZone that yesterday night and I ordered one and I just picked it up right now on my way home from work. So we're gonna install it and see if my car doesn't blow up. All right guys, so finally got the last um, coil on, or spark plug and coil pack on. It took me about 20-ish, 25 minutes. It's just these engines, you have like no room. Why is my camera doing that? You have like no room when you're putting on the spark plugs and coil packs. It's it's pretty difficult, honestly. Probably won't do this again, that's for sure. Or if I do, probably buy like a full Subaru kit online or something for the spark plugs. Seeing those are a thing, but yeah, so I'm gonna put everything back together, the intake and the piping, and then I'm gonna turn it on and see how it goes. So let's give her a start. I came outside real quick, it was pretty loud in there, but um, yeah, the car started like that and starting because uh, I disconnected the battery and had to re put it on and everything, so. Sounds pretty good, pretty loud. Alright guys, so that's it. That completes the task of changing out the spark plugs. You can see I got a mess of clean here now. Um, but more of the story while I do it again? Probably not, honestly. So, yep. Yeah. Subscribe and uh, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.